Tonight, we introduce a new segment on our program, Food and Wine, this week with Leslie Chirocco, host of KQED's popular Check, Please! Bay Area. Leslie and her guests bring us the inside scoop on the Bay Area's food scene. Thanks, Belva. I'm so excited to be part of This Week in Northern California. Now, I'm here with food bloggers from KQED's Bay Area Bites. It's a blog where foodies and culinary professionals, with their ears to the ground, or terroir as we say in wine, rant and rave about the latest local food trends, events, restaurants, and recipes. Tonight, Stephanie Rosenbaum tells us about the emergence of a whole new army of food vendors and a new underground market. And Michael Procopio brings us a waiter's perspective on dining, service, and making a living when the economy goes sour. Now to start, Michael, you're a popular waiter at, at a popular restaurant. Popular too, yes. <laughs> you're very popular. How has this economy affected you? Well, I'm, like you said, I work at a, at a popular place, so I'm lucky. We're busy. Mm -hmm. But what I notice is that a lot of the checks are down. People are coming in. They are sticking to appetizers mm -hmm. or they're sharing a main course. Um, and that's fine, right. I think, but it does decrease our, um, our check averages and therefore our income. That's right. And, and actually, the San Francisco Restaurant Association says sales were down last year about overall 10 percent. Mm -hmm. That's so about right. So you're really yeah. seeing the effect of that when, when a group comes in and they're sharing, sharing dishes. Or they're just getting a glass of wine That's instead right. of a bottle, things like that. Definitely. And um, a lot of, a lot of buy, the the, buy the glass wines, um, the bottles that are being sold are... are less expensive. Right. They That's are. Right. It's about a 6 to 10 percent decrease as well last year in mm -hmm. terms of wine sales. Mm -hmm. So buy the glass programs are expanding. It's cheaper right. to go in and get a $12 glass of wine, wine than right. a $50 bottle of wine, um, cheaper wine. So that, effect, that affects you, though, as a, as a waiter, as a server. Tell us how that works. I mean, where, are your, where do tips go? People don't often know that. Well, it, where I work, tips go all over the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, as a server, I am responsible for my support staff. Mm -hmm. So. I'm tipping out, if I get, if I sell a thousand dollars in a night, I'm tipping at least thirty dollars um, to my busser, I've right. got ten dollars to my hostess, I tip out my food runner the same amount, the bartender gets more, I have a barista, and I have a stalker. Right. So a lot of times what's happening these days is people are cheating a little bit. They're sort of, oh, uh -huh. I can save a little three dollars here or five dollars there on the tip. Um, and if that trend continues, it's, it's devastating That's to right. servers. Um, and not just but, you, but, but everyone. Everybody. Everybody yeah. down the line. Right. Yes. Right. But with the well, economy no. picking up, though, with the economy picking up, don't you think that, that uh, restaurant sales will go up? I mean, it looks like the trend is starting to reverse itself. I hope There's so. light at the end of the tunnel? I think so. And one of the reasons why I think there is a light at the end of the tunnel are the business dinners that I mm. wait on. Mm. You, I'm seeing more private parties being booked right. by companies. I am seeing them splurging a little bit on wines. I see them relaxing. Right. Last year, financial institutions having, having dinner were kind of nervous little uptight affairs. And, and restaurant openings are actually going right. up as well. They may mm -hmm. not be the expensive, yeah. high overhead kind of restaurants, but rest, more and more restaurants are and actually And that will up. always happen. I was looking at, I was looking at a, this laundry list of all the restaurants that have closed right. um, this year, which was incredibly depressing, but mm -hmm. I... You just need up, to drink more wine. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. cheers. <laughs> um, but I also realized as I was reading it, Something's going to pop up in their right. place. They always do. This is a city that is a food city that's never going to change. So that's mm -hmm. the good news. Yeah. Well, chefs, waiters, and unemployed food lovers, because there are still many of them, <laughs> are turning to new and creative means of earning a living in food service. They're on the streets or underground. Stephanie, I want to talk to you about what an underground market actually is. Well, this was a new, really a new event for San Francisco. Um, a man called Issa Raven started it. Um, he did his first one in December, and it was very popular. And what it is is, I can only really describe it as kind of a glorified bake sale. Um, and the the fun part with things other than with, baked the, goods. with things other than baked goods. Um, and he he got a lot of people who who don't sell their things otherwise. These are not things you can get in Buy Right or at Whole Foods. They're you know, all kinds of original things, um, acorn fudge and b really good beef jerky. And I was there selling things that are foraged. Things that are well often foraged, yes. right? Or, or they're you know, lemons that grown in someone's backyard. Or 
chocolate made from raw chocolate, you know, raw cacao beans, um, all kind of, you know, sweetened with agave syrup, all kinds of kind of interesting, interesting products um, that people are making, you know, cucumber marmalade. I mean, things that someone just sort of, in, yeah, That's someone just kind of invented and because they don't have to sell 50 cases to Whole Foods, they can they can just make it, you know, make a That's little right. bit all the time. And it, and it looks like it gathers a group of like-minded people Absolutely. so that it becomes more of an event and a Absolutely. Party. I mean, a lot of people were there with friends. They brought their babies. You know, everybody I found was talking and saying, oh, did you do that butchery class at Flatted Calf? Oh, I did one at Avedano's, and it was great. And, you know, there was a lot of people who, who had a, it was a real community event. It was a and lot of like-minded people. And this was the first event, people. correct? Um, this, the first event was in December. The second one just happened um, last night. Second one, okay. Second one it was so hugely popular. More to come. We're hoping. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right. I mean, he said he wasn't expecting it, but he said he probably had at least four or five hundred people. And how do people find out about this? Because now with social media, it right. makes it very easy to say we're going to Twitter, you know, right. and tweet and let you know where this is. Right. Yeah. I think it was a combination of they got some adv good advanced press, um, but they also a lot of social media, a lot of people tweeting and then retweeting about it. Um, you know, Bay Area Bites, Bites, of Bay Area course. Bites, of course, was on it. But I think right. also people found out about it the old-fashioned way, finding out about it from friends. A lot of people had a friend who was who was a vendor there or had a friend who had a friend who was a vendor there. And you feel there. like a hipster. Right? And you yeah. feel yeah. like a hipster, absolutely. You know, you people really felt like they were kind of clued in. It's like, you know, going to Burning Man when it first started, you know, as opposed to going last <laughs> well, year. And that's kind you of know? the same thing right. with this this other trend and, that I wanted right. to talk about, which is which is the street vendors. Right. And, you know, mm -hmm. more of, it's not just taco trucks anymore no, that are out there. not at all. It's creme yeah. brulee. It's that's escargot. Right. It's, it's Spencer food. on the go. Oh. Jay Spencer's right. got, yeah, their, exactly. their truck know. that serves. It's the magic curry, you know, it's all it's all kinds of things. And I I think it's a lot of people who had other careers. You know, they were they were therapists, they were HR people, they right. were you know they did they did PR something like that, and now all of a sudden maybe they got laid off, and they said, well, everyone loves my soup. Why don't I try? Why don't I try a, to sell it? Why don't I try to sell it? And briefly, yeah. 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 I, I just I want to hit on food. I and mean, on food safety for that mm. because mm -hmm. um, we just want people to know that that they actually have to you know yeah. adhere to food safety standards. No, absolutely. And the Department of Health actually said that that um, they're getting actually 12 to 16 calls a day now about people who are interested in going finding out about the permitting process for a mobile food unit um, right. as opposed to. You know, they used to get a couple calls a week. Right. So it's actually really exploding, and they, the city, thankfully, is really trying to make it easier and streamline the permitting process so that people can can get into it, and, and it can be small business entrepreneurs. And because if they do, then they. They, the, the city makes sales tax, the city makes money from <laughs> permits and everything else, and the, the public safety is, is assured. And again, the message is, be creative, Native. try these it's, wonderful stands yeah, that you right. might see, and you mm -hmm. might discover something, something beautiful. Exactly, right. something you can't find otherwise. That's they're, right. they're kooky and they're <laughs> fun. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you guys both for joining me. I wish we had more time. I know. Oh, <laughs> We've got so, so much, much to talk about. You can read more from Michael and Stephanie at kqed.org slash Bay Area Bites or watch Check, Please Bay Area at kqed.org slash Check, Please. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Until next time. Thank fun. you. Thanks.